Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's see the next name reaction that is Bergman cyclization or cycloaromatization. The name itself indicates it is a cyclization reaction and cycloaromatization it means that what after the completion of this particular reaction we are going to get the product that is going to be aromatic in nature. Let's see the statement. In the statement we are observing that what thermal or photochemical cycloaromatization of in diines in presence of hydrogen radical donor via electrocyclization commonly called as Bergman cyclization. So what the people are saying the reactants are what? in diion system it means that what the reactant molecule containing both the double bond and triple bond that is subjected to the cyclization procedure in presence of either thermal condition or photochemical condition by using either of the conditions we need to use what 1 comma 4 cyclohexadiene as a hydrogen radical donor that can be converted into what the corresponding aromatic compound. Here we are using the concept called as electrocyclization. We all know that we have different kinds of the pericyclic reactions. Among all the types of pericyclic reaction, we have one reaction commonly called as what? Electrocyclic reaction. In electrocyclic reaction, what is happening? The non-cyclic compound is converted into cyclic compound through the electron transfer. See this one? Here we have a reactant having the alternate pi bonds that right? is going to be involving in the cyclization procedure. It means that what here the homoerotic cleavage of pi bonds takes place. Because of the homoerotic cleavage what happens? We will observe the radicals or not. See this one. By the cleavage of this bond radical, 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 radical and radical, radical. These two can form a cyclization, this single bond, these two can form a pi bond and these two can form a pi bond. Such kind of reactions are commonly called as what? Electrocyclic reactions. In this Bergman cyclization, we are using the same concept. Let's see the general equation. In the general equation, what we are observing? It is a pi bond. It means it is an alkene or not? Alkene is represented with what? Ene, ene. See these two triple bonds. Triple bonds are commonly called as what? Ions are not. We have two triple bonds. Two triple bond means it is what? Diion. In diion system is going to involving in the thermal or photochemical reaction by using a what? Hydrogen radical donor. Going to produce aromatic compound. The mechanism is very very simple. See the mechanism. So initially what is happening? These two triple bonds are going to be involving in the homolytic cleavage. Already we know that homolytic cleavage produces what? Free radicals or not? So radical, radical, radical and radical. So these two radicals can form a what? Cyclization or not? See this one. The cyclization phenomena takes place. The triple bond is converted into double bond. This triple bond is converted into double bond. But at this six member ring, what we are having? Two radicals or not? It is a benzene substituted one or not? See the distance. One, two, three, four. Four carbons distance is there or not? That's why it is saying that what? One comma four benzene diyl radical. So during this particular mechanism, we are observing the one four bi radical. 1,4 bi radicals are the intermediates in the Bergman cyclization reaction. In order to fulfill the valency of these two carbons, what we are doing, we are going to use an hydrogen donor. That is the what? 1 comma 4 cyclohexadiene. Here see this one. We have CH2 group or not? Initially what is happening? Homolytic cleavage of this bond takes place. That can give a hydrogen radical or not. That hydrogen radical approaches to one of the radical and produces CH bond. So the valency of this carbon is fulfilled. Thereby what we are getting here, we have a radical or not. This one is going to involving in the homolytic cleavage. Thereby you will come up with two radicals. 
these two radicals can form a pi bond by the formation of a radical at this carbon so in order to fulfill the aromatic character of this particular diene what we are doing at the adjacent carbon we are removing the hydrogen radical this hydrogen radical move towards this radical thereby it can produce a ch bond so it can be converted into what the corresponding benzene so in this way we can convert the in diene system into the corresponding aromatic system okay let's see the applications this particular reaction is very very important in case of the net examination 2018 2019 papers were observing the questions which are related to the bergman cyclization simply you need to put it in your, your mind that if you have one in system and two i systems then you need to think of what we call it as bergman cyclization simply see this one this is the alkene system in system and having what two i systems that's why what happens simply the homolytic cleavage of these two triple bonds takes place and produces a six membered aromatic ring see this one six membered aromatic ring is produced in presence of a hydrogen donor radical similarly the second example in the second example also see this one it is a alkene or not in system or not and having two ion systems all are in conjugation or not so these will involving in the bergman cyclization thereby what is happening here it is the five membered ring the five membered ring is going to be fused with what a six membered aromatic ring see this one five membered fused with six membered ring followed by the seven membered ring. so in this way you can simply remember the formation of products during the bergman cyclization or it is bergman cyclo aromatization the name itself indicate aromatization <laughs> means the products will be aromatic compounds so we are using what electrocyclic reaction in this particular procedure so this is all about your bergman cyclization